Welcome to our video edition of Learn with LBSI for the month of April 2021. We are going to review price lists and how to use the import from Excel function as an alternate method of updating price lists in SAP Business One. Price lists are a great way to manage prices on documents that are created in SAP Business One. From time to time, you may find it necessary to update prices for items on a price list. You may also find that the Prices Update Wizard does not suit your needs when attempting to update prices. As an alternative, you can easily update your price list by using the Import from Excel feature. Let's begin by navigating to Inventory, Price Lists, and Price Lists to review where price lists are initially set up in your system. The Price Lists window is where you can set up various different price lists for your items. If you would like to add a new price list, simply right-click any of the rows and select Add Row. You will be able to change the name of your price list in the Price List Name column. If the price list is linked to multiple base price lists or factors, the value in the corresponding field will be set to Yes. In the Default Base Price List column, you can select which price list to base the prices of the newly created price list off of. The value in the default factor field is what will be multiplied by the prices of the default base price list. If you would like any rounding to occur for your prices, you can select a specific rounding method in the corresponding field. When a rounding method is selected, you will be able to select in the rounding rule column how the prices will round accordingly. If fixed ending or interval is selected in the rounding method field, you will be able to enter in values that the prices will round close to in the ending slash interval field. In the authorization group field is where you can assign a specific authorization group to the price list. You can assign users to the authorization group via the general authorizations window so they can have access to the price list. If any of the price lists are set to gross price, then the gross price checkbox will be checked. Next. The active checkbox will indicate if the price list is active or not. The valid from and to fields are where you can enter in the corresponding dates when you want a price list to be active. Once the date is past the valid to date, the price list will no longer be available for selection. Finally, in the primary currency field is where you can specify the primary currency of the specific price list. Now let's take a look at how to update the prices of individual items for a price list. In order to do so, simply double click the price list line to display the price list selection criteria window. In this window is where you can specify which items you want to view for the specific price list. Once you update the selection criteria and click OK, you will be taken to the price list for the items you selected. Towards the top right of the window, is where you can specify which price list mode to use for your price list. The two options include gross and net. If gross is selected, then taxes will be included in your prices for your items. If net is selected, then the taxes will not be included in the price for your items. In the main portion of the screen will be all of the items that you selected in the price list selection criteria screen. The only fields that you will be able to modify manually in this screen is the base price list, price, and manual checkbox. In the base price list column is where you can change what the base price list will be. The base price list will default to the value that was selected on the price list window. If you want the price to be a different value than what is currently entered, you can simply change the price to a different value in the price field. If you do decide to change the price, then the manual checkbox will be checked automatically. This will be the process to manually update your items for a specific price list, one at a time. You do also have the ability to update your price list by importing an Excel file with the updated prices of each item. To update your price list with an Excel file, navigate to Administration, Data Import slash Export, Data Import, and import from Excel. In the import from Excel window, you will need to change the value in the data type to import field to price list. Now that the price list is selected, 
you will need to define what each column will be in Excel. First, for column A, you will want to select price list number so you can specify which price list you are updating. Then for column B, you will want to select item number so you can update specific items in your price list. Now that we know what each column will refer to, we can begin to create the Excel file we want to import. In Excel, make sure that you have the same column headers as you see on the import from Excel screen. The price list number will correspond to the row number of the price list in the price list window. In the item number field, is where you can enter in the item code of every item you want to update for the corresponding price list. The base price list number field refers to the row number of the price list that will be used as reference for the factor column if there is no value in the list price field. When you enter a value into the factor column, it will change the factor for the particular items in the corresponding price list. These factors will be multiplied by the amounts in the base price list. If you just want to manually update the prices of your items, then you can enter in an amount into the list price field. If you have a different currency that needs to be used for an item, you can change the currency symbol in the currency for list price field. In order to import your file into SAP Business One, you will need to copy the data over to a text file. You will only need to copy over the line information. You do not need to copy the header row as well. Once you copy the information over to the text file, you can save the text file somewhere on your system. With the text file saved, you can now go back into SAP Business One and select the lookup button next to the file to import field. When the open window appears, you can simply select the text file you want to import and click open. The location of the file you just selected will now appear in the file to import field. Once you see the file in the field, you can proceed to select the import button at the bottom. A result window will appear after you select the import button, notifying you if the items in the price list were updated or not. If you would like to save the results of this window, you can do so by selecting the save button. Now that the price list has been updated, you can now view the updated prices of the items in the particular price list. Double click the row number and select the items that were updated to view the prices of those particular items. Once the price list screen appears, you will notice that the information for all the items selected will correspond to the information that was imported from Excel. This month's tip of the day is useful for quickly navigating between related documents using the base and target document right click options. For this example, we will start with a delivery document. If I want to quickly open the related sales order, I can right click the delivery and select base document to be taken to the corresponding sales order. If I want to view the AR invoice that was created for this delivery, I can simply right click the delivery document and select target document to be taken to the AR invoice that was created for this delivery. Price lists in SAP Business One are a great way to contain multiple different prices for your items and are even easier to maintain by importing the updates from Excel. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.